Welcome to Break Diving's Trivia Night. My name is Monroe, coming at you from Florida. Javier is coming at you from Portugal, and Ishmael coming at you from India. So we've got three parts of the world being represented here. Javier, do you feel you represent Portugal or do you represent Cuba more? Well, well, I'm I'm always I'm always Cuba first. Okay, well, so you can represent both. Yes. Okay. Represent the people of Cuba and Portugal. Ishmael will represent the people of India. I will represent the people of the United States. And we were gonna get started on our, our trivia adventure here. So let's share my screen and here. So we've got different ones. Oh, this one's history and holidays. Can we? Oh, all right, so each person that gets to go, uh, whoever wins each round gets to choose the next category. So we'll, we'll start with general, and then you get one point for each one that you get right, and no points for ones that you get wrong. So here, let's generate a new, okay. And since Javier, it's his first event here at Break Diving, he gets to go first. And here we go. Oh, actually, when I say that, for Javier, so you get to pick which question we start with. Just pick uh, a rip. What's that? Uh, okay, okay, done. Okay, which, uh, I have to be what, which question? Uh, make, make it easy. Just pick a number between one and nine, random. Uh, three. Okay. In the world of sport, what first did Yuria D. Rennie achieve in 2001? Um, a goal. Oh, okay. Well, no, but we've had goals. We've had goals before 2001. What could it possibly be? So we could all try to answer. Uria mm -hmm. Reni achieved in 2001. Maybe it's it's a brand new sport or something that a woman did or broke a record. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I have no idea. I will say, I will say first female to do something. I'm assuming Uri is a woman. Let's see. Oh, first black referee to dictate a game. Okay. So uh, not, uh, black referee is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is bad because it sounds bad. No, it means like the first black person. Oh, okay. To, to okay. be a referee in a, in a game. All right, let's try another one. Let's, let's go down from the top to the bottom. Of what is the word Fortnite a contraction? So it's a contraction means of like of two words. Uh, it's before, before night, before the, um, the, the, nights, the, the night before. Okay, Fortnite. My guess is 14. Like 14th night? I don't know. Ishmael, do you got something? No. Hey, I got it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Team USA has got one. Okay. Uh, who won Euro Song Contest? Save all your kisses for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have no idea. I will say Sweden. Yeah. Ishmael, what do you think? What country? No, uh, I'll pick randomly Switzerland. Yeah, go for it. Switzerland. <laughs> Javier, pick randomly a European country. Um, I'll say England before it was separated. Oh. Brotherhood. Oh, it said who? I I I don't know. They oh, who, which band. Yeah. I thought they meant which country. I don't even know where Brotherhood of Man is, so we'll skip the next one. Okay, dyshabalophobia is a fear of this. Hmm. Huh. Dishes. Dishes. 
Dish, dish dishes. Dish habilium. <laughs> okay, that's a really good guess. Hmm. It's probably the best one. Dish habilia. Or what's dishabilia? Dishabilia. Abilia, the ability to maybe make, maybe cleaning dishes. <laughs> Oh, in dressing in front of someone. Mm. Oh, in French, déshabillé. It's, mm. it's like, all right, so we got none of the... All right. Uh, who wrote Flaubert's Parrot in England? England. I have no idea what that question means. I'm just going to click show because Julian mm. Barnes. Mm. As what are Craig and Charlie Reed better known as? Craig and Charlie Reed. Hmm. It's like a, something like, you, like a YouTube personality or like maybe something. Americans. Americans. I don't know if they're Americans. The Something Brothers. Oh, the Proclaimers. You know that song? Mm, no, um, it's it's rock. Yeah, they're a, they're a band I think from Ireland, and they sang. And I would walk 500 miles. Ah. And I would walk 500 ah, from, from how you met your mother, no? how you met your mother, the show. I think it was on there too. I just remember it from playing on the radio on Z100 in New York back in the 90s. And uh, what a great song that was. All right. Rally is the capital of hmm, North Carolina. Rally. Mm. North Carolina is it a country? Not that one. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh. Two for USA. Oh Riley, it, Riley. I, is it a country? You know Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm gonna give you guys a you want me to give you guys a handicap. When I get a question right, I get one point. When you guys get a question right, you get two points because English is my first language. Fair? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. So, so if so if you guys can get one question, now you'll be tied with me. Of who were Castor and Pollux the twin sons? This is something to do with Greek or Roman mythology. Uh, I just the remember tweets. Castor and Pollux, I think, are related to that. I'm gonna say the uh, the Greek yes. god of Castor and Pollux. Uh, twin sons, uh, like Artemis in, in Apollo, but um, th those are different people. Yeah, uh, we, we both kind of know kind of where it is, but I don't know what the answer is. Maybe I'll say, just say the god of the uh, god of happiness, Greek god of happiness. Oh, Zeus and Leda. <laughs> you know what's funny? I was going to say the god of war. And I think that's Zeus, but I didn't say it because I didn't think it was correct. <laughs> Castor and Pollux are the twin sons of Zeus and Leda. What book starts with the word, call me Ishmael. If you don't know this, Ishmael, shame on you. Is it Bible? <laughs> no. It's Moby Dick. Moby Dick, but what's that? <laughs> It's, a, uh, it's okay. a book. It's a book. It's uh, about a blue, white whale. Mm -hmm. but... Yeah, it's a book about this guy that tries to chase this big whale. It's a novel by mm -hmm. Moby Dick. Uh, who wrote it? The same guy who wrote Old Man in the Sea. Yeah. Who wrote uh, it? Uh, Hemingway. Herman. Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway, yeah. Oh, that's what it is. He's been in, in Cuba. He's been in Cuba also. Uh, you think he lived in Cuba? He also, did Ernest Hemingway live in? But I see the name as Herman Melville. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. It's Herman Melville, not Ernest Hemingway. Yeah, Melville. Yeah. Herman Melville. Why did you think it was Ernest Hemingway, Javier? Um. Well, Ah, because uh, I thought you, you say Hemingway. No, in understand. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I said, is that, uh... yeah, so I was wondering, it didn't sound like, yeah, you're right, it's Herman Melville. Oh, okay, okay. 
Um, all right, who assassinated John Lennon on December 8th, 1980? Uh, John Lennon. I, I, I like the Beatles, but, but, but I don't know. I don't know. Really. I, uh, Mark I Tapp. heard his name, John Lennon. Who is that? Uh, from the Beatles. Oh. You know the band, the Beatles, Ishmael? Yeah, yeah, I heard. heard of. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Lucy in the sky with diamonds. All mm. right. All right, so I, I won that one. So I get to, oh, we can change it to five. To make it go in each round, go quick, more quickly. So five, mm. and I, I won that with three. Now I get to choose one. And one do I think I will do well at? And I'll just try language. Let's see what it says. Okay. What does the Greek word root word chrome mean? Is it wrong? Chronos. So what what do you think, Javier? Uh, chronos, um, chronos. Okay, so you think it means chrono, but what is, but cr chrome, chrome is not the same as chronos, is it? Ishmael, what do you think chrome means? I don't know, is it moon? I'm not sure, does the Greek word chrome mean? Chrome. Chrome. Maybe I'll say metal. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, color. Color. Oh, chromatic. Ah, oh, okay. Chromatic means colors. Okay. What does SOS stand for? Well, I know, I know what. Yeah, I know what SOS is, but uh, I don't know what it means. <laughs> so it means save, save our ship. Wait, save yeah. our ship, but uh... oh, they have it as save our souls, but that is not correct. It actually. <laughs> Save our ship. So let's look. I, I'm going to check because I think my answer is right. Hmm. What does SOS mean? Let's see. Come on. What does SOS mean? Save our ship, save our souls. What options are there? Oh, save our ship, search our, save our souls. None of the above. Here's why. Mm. In truth, it's not an abbreviation for anything. Mm. Yeah, in, in, in Morse code, it's did it, da, 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 did it. it. So, um, in a way, you, you are right. Yeah. You're, you're one. We, we can no. accept both of them. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, judges. <laughs> okay. Uh, an adjective meaning pertaining to the sun. An, an, an adjective pertaining to the sun. Let's see. Sun. sun. Uh, sunshine. Okay, could be sunshine. Well, sunshine's a noun, though. Oh, ah, well. The sun, uh, an adjective. Sunny? I don't know. Solar, like solar energy. Okay. Mardi Gras is French for, wow. Marwai? Oh, I know what it is because it's French. It's Fat Tuesday because gras means fat, like foie gras. And mardi, mardi, mardi is Tuesday. Lundi, mardi, mercredi. So it should be Fat Tuesday. Ah. Got that one. From what language is the term finito? Mm, Italian. Oh, good one. Okay. One point for team. Cuba, Portugal. Oh, two points. Mm. Good. 
So, right, so it's a tie score for this round. So uh, it's a tie score, I'll give it to you. Mm. And go ahead and, and choose what topic you'd like from here. Uh, what topic? Uh, hmm. well, I, I'm, I, I always like mythology. Uh, but I don't know. Um, okay, mythology. Religioning mythology. Okay. In Greek mythology, who turned Arachne into a spider? Ah, they, they see it as um, Athenian. No, Athenian, right? Um, hey! Uh, Good job. Ah, Athena. Ah, ah, okay, Athenia is um, and, and the translation to Spanish. Athenia. Yeah, that's Athenia. Fine. Yeah, you got that one right. <laughs> in, in what month is Christmas observed? Um, oh, you went faster, right? Huh? So now, now, now I forgot that the two of you can easily catch up with just one or two questions right. So <laughs> I'm going to play fast and furious now. In Greek mythology, who solved the riddle of the Sphinx? The, the riddle of the Sphinx. Um, Was it the person with the, with the with Icarus? My guess is Icarus. No, no, Icarus, Icarus is dead. Icarus is dead. Don't you remember? We fly to the sun. We fly. Um, but uh, I thought he flew to the sun after he discovered solved the riddle of the Sphinx. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Physis. Okay, let's see. Oedipus. Oedipus. All right, so we both got that wrong. In Egyptian mythology, what is the life force called? Mm. Ra, um, I think Ra, um, I think I think I ah Ka, Ka. Life was called Ka in Egyptian mythology. In Greek mythology, the riddle of what did oh we can't do this one. This is random because it's the riddle of the uh, Sphinx. No, no, no. I don't. I know that one. I know that one. Yeah, but it's going to be the same here because if this one is who solved the riddle of the Sphinx, Oedipus. The riddle of what did Oedipus solve? So oh, we all know. Oh, oh, they want to know the actual riddle. Yeah, I know that one. All right, what is it? Uh, a very, in the Finn said, uh, which are the which is the animal that walk that walk two that walk in two two and four? I mean, <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, it says. Which uh, which is which is the animal that what in four in four legs in in the day, uh, three legs, two legs in, in the afternoon, and three le in three and three legs in the night. Whoa! The animal that walks four legs during the day, uh huh, three legs in the afternoon, and two legs at night. No, no, no! Two legs in the afternoon, three legs in, in the night. Oh, okay. I think I got it. If, if we're talking about like the age of somebody, it's a human, right? Yes. Because you're, you're, uh, you're born crawling, then you're on two feet, and then you use a cane when you're older. Mm -hmm. they, was that the riddle of the Sphinx, though? Ooh, wait. Let's, let's, it says the answer is Sphinx. Let's see. What? was the riddle of the Sphinx. May, crawling on all fours to walking proudly to ending up hunched over on a cane. All right, good job. Wow. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's now a tie score <laughs> of uh, team USA and Team Cuba. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so who won that? You won that one again. You get to choose the category again, Javier. Did he freeze? All right, Javier freeze. So Ishmael, you get to choose the category. Oh, I will go with his study. 
You sure you don't want mathematics? No, let's show sister. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, Javier's back. Okay. Ah, um... All right. Uh, who released the 70s album entitled Hunky Dory? Oh. I have no idea. Uh, it's, it's a song, right? Yes, it's a song. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I'll, I'll say, I'm just going to pick somebody. Elton John. Oh, David Bowie. Mm. Okay. The Sp this Spaniard conquered Mexico. Cortez. 1500, right? 15th century. Yeah. Well, what was his name? I think it's Cortez. Uh, is it the man who conquered Mexico? Yeah. The, who is the man from Spain who conquered Mexico? Oh, uh, I, I forgot his name. <laughs> I got it. Cortez. Yeah, Cortez, yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> okay, who first conceived the idea of a Christmas tree? Santa Claus. Uh, uh, Jesus? That's in Jesus. Um, I know it's somebody from Germany. Ah, okay. I don't know who. Oh, no, maybe not. Prince Albert? Huh. Okay, the Beatles were one of the biggest phenomenons of the 60s, but who was their manager? Oh, that's it. I used to know the manager's name, but I don't remember. Oh, Brian, Brian Epstein, really? Wow. Okay. Mm. If someone gave you a frumenti at Christmas, would you eat it, drink it, or wear it? Yeah. I'd say drink it. <laughs> I I don't know what's a frumenti, and and I'd never drink it or or wear it or eat it. Ishmael, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's up from at least. Eat it. A spiced porridge. Hmm. I thought it like frumenti was like fermentation, but I was wrong. All right, uh, Ishmael, <laughs> you can pick again. What category? Me? Yeah. Yeah, let's go for mathematics. I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, First one is geometry. Geometry, I think. Uh, no, it's lens angles, right? Yeah, so it's the mathematical geometry. study of properties of lines, angles, etc., is geometry. All right, two points for Team <laughs> India. <laughs> Second one is rectangle. Hold on, my pen just died. One second. Stop, you can't go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for if you guys go ahead, I'm taking away your two points. Uh, <laughs> One, two, three, has four equal sides. I'm going to go here so you can. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hold on. Uh, you have to go. B, B, B. What do you guys square. think? Uh, square. Yeah. Who said it first, Ishmael or Javier? It's me, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Two points for India. Okay, what? Well, an Wait. angle greater than 90 degrees is said to be. Um, oh my God. An obtuse? Obtuse? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Good job for Cuba, Portugal. All right, I'm going to get this next one. Hmm. Approximately how many, what? How many inches are there in one meter? Uh, uh, what do you guys um, think? One in one meter uh, is twenty-seven. Hmm. No, Ishmael, you said thirty-seven. No, twenty-seven. Right, twenty-seven for Bumble. Ishmael. Thirty for me, Javier. What do you think? Uh, uh, sixty. Sixty. All right. Let's see. Thirty-nine. So Ishmael, what did you say? Oh wait, I no, got. I uh, I was close, I said right? Yeah. One for Team USA. All right. And who proved Fermat's last theorem? Uh, I don't know what's for, who's Fermat. <laughs> He's a famous uh, mathematician. 
I also don't know. <laughs> Andrew Wiles. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So India, you won that one, so you get to pick the next cat. Maybe it should be whoever loses gets to pick the next category. Yeah, it should be also. Yeah. Because otherwise, the if the person who wins keeps choosing the same category. <laughs> I, so I lost this one. This round, I'll pick science and nature. Okay, how many? Okay. Let me see. We got um. And I this pen. All right. This pen's not working either. My gosh. Where is it? Oh, finally. No, no, why is this not working? None of my pens are working, guys. Okay. Here we go. Science and nature. And since I know Ishmael likes to cheat by going ahead, we got to go higher. What is the commonest metal on earth? I'd say iron. No, copper. Hmm. Metal. Metal. Yeah. What's the common, most common metal on earth? But the iron metal is, is the same is the, is the same type, right? Uh, or different types. Which type of metal is the most common? I say ah. it's common. Ah, okay. I say metal. Okay. Um, um silver i'd say silver because ishmael uh, i'll go for Luminum. oh all right hmm. which soft metal is used in the production of soap uh hmm. it's uh some um... there's a metal produced and used to make soap that's weird I'll say copper again. Well, I don't know. Sodium. I don't know. So, sodium uh, is a, it's a metal? I guess so. <laughs> a male blank becomes fully feathered when he's three years old, but can mate earlier. Penguin. Mm. Not my penguin, uh, peacock. Ah. I say peacock. What do you guys say? I don't know. Hmm. Um, a duck? Oh, I got it. One question for Team USA. The pivot point to lever is called the, I know this, but I'll give you guys three seconds to say it first. One, two, three. Achilles. Now, a fulcrum. Ah. Okay, next. Predating the Model T Ford, which was the world's first car to be made in large quantities of 19,000 being sold between 1902 and 1906. Uh, the Ford? Well, no, but the Ford was, the, that, 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 they're saying before the Ford. Ah, okay. So, okay. Um, before the fort. Um, I'll say. I'll say. I don't know. Oh, is it? Oh, well, it might be a Ford car. Maybe it's the Edsel. Maybe it's the Ford Edsel. Hmm. Let me see. Nope. The curved dashed Oldsmobile. Old. Is that the the same car in in Cuba and the old car? Could be. Uh. Okay, Javier, you, uh, you, and in, you and Ishmael both got zero points this round, so you get to pick this time, Javier. Which category? Um, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Toys and games. All right. If you're involved in firing, throwing, and glazing, what do you do? Throwing and glazing. What do you do? Um, I hide and and. <laughs> uh, I think the answer is pottery making. With clay. Pottery. Ah, okay. Okay. Next. In this game, players take turns playing discs on an eight by eight board. Come on, you guys know this. Chess. Uh, 
No, there's another one. It's discs. No, no, checks. No, it's checkers. Checkers. Good job. You know what? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give that to you because wow. I think it's. Similar. I would have said. Oh, I guess the issue is it's placing discs. You don't place discs and checkers. You you the check the discs are already on the board. But I don't know. Maybe you could take. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Mm. So two points for Cuba, Portugal. Okay. What chess piece is usually valued as five points? Five points. Mm. The. I would say the. The rook. Yeah, my, oh, you said it first. So if you get that right, I was going to say rook, but you said it first. Good job. Okay, two more points for Cuba, Portugal. I better, I better get moving because I think you're you're winning now. Uh, what bowling team term means three straight strikes? Hardly. I'd say lucky. Um. What did you say, Ishmael? Is it hardly? Maybe, I don't know. I know that's in hockey. Let's see if it is. Oh, a turkey. Oh, turkey. Oh. Roulette, what number is green? What number is green? Um, I, mean, I don't know. This, the I'll one? Say, I'll say 60. Oh, zero. Ah, fuck. Yeah. I was just thinking of zero. All right, Ishmael, you get to choose now. We have two more rounds, and we're going to add up the points. Uh -huh. Let's go for geography. Wait, uh, wait uh, how many um, oceans did, did we take um, before? Uh, I, I chose toys and games, uh, mythology, uh, it's my mathematics. And we did one general. We, I chose language once. No, it's um, okay. Which country administers Christmas Island? Oh, is my, it, my guess is Portugal. Is, is there a Christmas Island? There is, but I don't know. I'm just guessing Portugal. If it's yeah, Portugal, then... <laughs> oh, no, if it's Australia. No, Australia. All right, which is the second largest of the United States? Well, I don't know how they're determining largest, maybe by size? Um, is, is, is Texas the largest? Yeah, I, I would say, I think the largest is Texas, so maybe the second largest is California. What do you guys think? Los Angeles? No, uh, no. states, states, not, not the city. Ah, and that's uh, okay. Um, um, okay, well, you said California, and I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Texas? Ah. Wait. What's the largest? Of, wait, let's find out. Oh, maybe Alaska is the biggest. Wait, so that means I won? No, you didn't say the right name. Well, I said. Well, I said it's Texas is the largest. Um, well, yeah, I give it, give it to him. <laughs> give it to him. Okay. Which state is the largest in size in the USA? Maybe it's Alaska. Oh, the largest is the by it's eighty percent of the area of the U.S. All right, you get those two points. And let's go. Oh, what works? Wrong place here. Kingston is the capital of which country? Jamaica. Yeah. Okay. What is the capital of Central African Republic? I'm going to say, uh, I don't know. Uh, I bet the uh, South, I bet the, it's in South. It's not South, South Africa. It's not South Africa, right? No, no this, okay. is, this is a separate country, Central African Republic. Ah, okay. Um, it's not, um, it's not, it's not Johannesburg, right? You can't ask, is it, it's not. You have to tell us what it is. 
Well, I don't know. I just guess. No, Johannesburg is the capital of South Africa. This is, oh, Bangui. Didn't know that. What's the capital of Malawi? What's the capital? I don't know that either. Hmm. Lilongwe. Hmm. Uh, all right, Ishmael, you get to choose again. Me. Hmm. Yeah, we got one more round. By the way, so... Ishmael will get five points for every correct answer he gets now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> to give you a chance to catch up. Which, uh, which you, category? Uh, you, uh, uh, yeah, wait, you can choose the, the same one, right? You, you can choose the same one. Yeah, we can go for tech, tech and gay. Uh, what was that? Hold on, my stupid Cortana is causing problems. OK. What? We can go for tech. Which one? Tech and video games. Hmm. Right. In the extreme battle mini game in Resident Evil 2, what characters are selectable? Um, okay. So, uh, very, uh, Claire, oh, Claire I'm gonna Red say Hill? I'm gonna say all of them. Claire Claire Redfield? No. Um, is that is that um, is that their last name? Claire? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna I'll give you one point for this because you got one of them right. Ah, oh. one point. Circuits can be wired in parallel or series. Oh yes, series. Yeah. Series. Okay. What was the Jaguar car called before 1945? Hmm. I think it was called the Ishmael. <laughs> nope, it was the SS. SS. Who manufactured the first home video game system? Um, ColecoVision? Um, it's one. Magnavox. Oh, I had one of those Magnavox. Let's look, let's look, look at the Magnavox video. Magnavox, wait. Magnavox game system. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Magnavox Odyssey, huh. Wait a second, can you buy an actual Super Nintendo brand new? Um, maybe a collector for, for collection or, or 2007, oh, 2017 limited edition. Oh, it's the re, it's the re, the, it's the revert. You can get these all, you can get a Sega Genesis mini with all the old games and the Super Nintendo with the old games? What games does it come with? Fully loaded with 21 games. What games does this come with? Uh, wait, we gotta find out. Super, Super Nintendo Classic Edition. We're taking a brief diversion, hold on. Super Nintendo classic games. Classic. Uh, oh, super classic mini games. Was it there? Which games are included in the. Contra 3, Donkey Kong Country, Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Dream Course, Secret of Mana, Street Fighter 2, Super Mario Kart. Enough Super Fantasy. Final Fantasy, Castlevania Earthbound, F Zero, Mega Man X, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Legend of Seven Stars, Super Metro, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Yoshi's Island. Yes, very helpful. Thank you. This is cool. I maybe want to get this. That would be a lot of fun. 
All right, let's go back to our game. Okay, in which Mega Man game did Mega Man first gain the ability to char charge up his shots? Mm, Mega Man 2. No, Mega Man 4. All right, guys, we're going to tally up the points right here. So Team India got four points. A good showing. Team USA got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 points. Team Cuba, Portugal got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points. So he won, right there. Yeah, for yes. Cuba and Portugal. Yes, so Team Portugal. <laughs> yes. Uh, has won in first place, Team USA second place, Team India third place. Indi uh, Team India, was it fair? Or do you think there should have been a different handicap? Why were the questions so much harder for you? Because of Yeah, English? it was fair. It was fair? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so then, then you need to study more, Ishmael. Yeah, but these things, you know, Google will do. Right. Do you want it? Do you want to? You want to do? We'll do one more game, but we'll just do three rounds. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Okay, we'll, we'll save for now. That was good. That was a lot of fun. Let's uh, let's wind up the recording. For those of you on YouTube, we hope you had fun watching this. And please click like. Please click subscribe. Please click share and share a comment with us. We'd love you to join us because it would be fun if we had even more people Then we can have actual teams perhaps. Ishmael just disappeared. Okay. And that's too bad because we wanted to do the photo. I hope he'll come back. Uh, but for those of you on YouTube, catch you later, gonna stop the recording. Stick around Javier, one second.